in front of these drivers 500 miles as they come through the tri -oval. It's the Triple A Texas 500. Up the racetrack, the 14. Clint Boyer gets into the side of the 11. Denny Hamlin slides up. We saw that in April. Clint Boyer got loose on a restart, collecting almost the guy on the outside line. It cost Denny several spots. And that's what we've seen all weekend long. We've seen cars on restarts. Denny's Someone got a smoke. has a problem. Denny, yeah, Denny's smoking back there looking for tire rub. So that contact with the 14 now has the 11 in a hole already. Out front, Ryan Blaney. Still see the tire smoke coming from the 11 as he goes through the turn. Blaney, Harvin, Kozlowski, Logano, Kurt Busch, the top five. Let's take a look at it again. See that tire power mark on the left rear. Harvick looks three wide right here on his teammate Boyer going into turn one but thinks twice about it, backs off. Boyer, though, gets down the corner and just gets loose. We'll take another look at what created all these issues for the 14 at Boyer. Three wide into turn one. Harvick thinks better about it, backs off. I don't think that played a role in it. The 14 just gets loose on the inside. Here's a view of that. He's just looking. The four is pretty far back. And the 14 just loses the back of the race car. We have seen this so many times, and I, I can't put that on Harvick's move. Just the fact that these cars don't have grip on stickers, and the guy on the inside line doesn't have any side force with that outside line tucked on him. It's a long race. There's time for Pit Boy to make this happen. You have to hope they got those fenders pulled off so they don't get another cut tire. Boyer and Hamlin both two laps down to start the race here in Texas. Blaney still out front. Blaney caught it and he fell back to fourth. So Harvick, Kurt Busch, Eric Jones, and Blaney top four. So that's two non-playoff drivers that are up inside the top five. As we see the big run here, as you mentioned, of Kyle Busch and the 18 getting by Chase Elliott. And again, Kyle Busch, the speeding penalty on pit road put him to the back, but he's fought back well as he moves up to eight now. And moves Chase Elliott down into the ninth spot. Eric Almarola in 10. Under two laps to go. Harvin, who has won the first stage the last two Texas races, is looking to make it a clean sweep. Three races in a row, potentially for Kevin Harvick. And it was strategy on pit road. Remember, he only took two tires. He took right side tires, as did Kurt Busch. Those two were able to get out front, and that track position has been key. So Kevin Harvick will make his way back out of turn four, and he will win stage one. Ryan Blaney will fly by the 20 of Eric Jones. Take that spot as they go through turns one and, or three and four, where they're going 180 miles an hour through the middle of that turn. It's just crazy. Now. And the caution has come out. Here we go. Come in. That's the last one. Come on. Uh, Jimmy Stone, we got into him a little bit here. I can't see the right. We Byron see a little bit of damage right, on the okay. left front. earlier about the separation of Jimmy Johnson and Chad Knauss. Well, the crew chief for William Byron in 2019 will be Chad Knauss. And it was the 48 who was involved. Bad Penalty on news. pit road. Over the wall too soon for the team. So the hits just keep coming. What's the deal here, Steve? Four to go. Three to go now. Pitbull closes at two to go. I've asked that question. 
that how many laps do you have? And they have told me that once you are notified, you have to pit on the next lap. Okay. So I expect Clint Boyer to come right here, and he better because pit road will still close. And then he, in theory, could get another penalty. Let's take a look at the pit stop. Over the wall too soon. We'll see what the crew member situation is. So I think basically it's the guy just sitting with his two feet over pit wall. He's in the pit box, and, and you're allowed to be in the pit box if you're doing dual duties or doing something. He doesn't need to leave the pit wall, but, but he's still in the pit area. So I'm assuming that would be the guy that NASCAR sees is over too soon. That's very frustrating when it's an unneeded penalty. And it was pretty close. The caution almost coming out for Parker Kligerman. Yeah, Ross Chastain and Parker Kligerman got together over the exit of turn two. Oh, wow. I wonder what was going on there that created that, because... Look at the left front. Yeah, Parker locks the left front down to save the car. Save the car, but flattens the left front tire and ends up having to come down pit road to make the tire change. Kelly. Hey, this stage end is going to come just in time for Kyle Busch, this 18 team. Kyle just came over the radio to say, I'm bottoming out on the left front. It's a brand new feeling. I've not felt that all day. And he said, I'm not sure if it's another loose wheel. Well, the crew, pit crew didn't get too excited. Obviously, they've got that stage break so they can bring him back down pit road now. Stage one winner and stage two winner, Kevin Harvick. He chose the outside again. The last time he chose the outside, he lost the lead. Let's see if Ryan Blaney can challenge him on the inside of this restart. a great lead as he went through one and two and he has the lead and now Kevin Harvick is going with him he gets by Ryan Blaney Harvick up to second that's yes, last thing Logano wanted to see is that four car in his mirror I think that's one of the best cars all these guys up the racetrack a little bit down in three, three and four but oh, it's tight right there but very three. close the 41 of Kurt Busch all over the back bumper of Blaney. And, and, and Ken Lasky all over the 41. thinks he has a loose wheel. The four car running in second believes he has a loose wheel, guys. Oh, no. Wow. Kevin yeah. Harvick on a great restart was able to run second, but feeling something yeah, inside that car. New leader in Texas. You saw it in NASCAR nonstop. Kevin Harvick was able to make the pass on Joey Logano. And Logano has continued to fall down to Ryan Blaney third now, but Harvick, this is how he made the pass. Yeah, we talked about that was the weak spot right there. Logano's car just not able to stay in the racetrack. Having to chase it, that's a lot of work in the junior. Yeah, absolutely. And then a couple laps later, he lost second position to his teammate Ryan Blaney. The same issue, getting down into turn one and two and losing the back of the car. Struggling down there, handling on that 22, falling off here. Yeah, Logano doing everything right, you know, not overdriving the entry or anything like that. He just cannot maintain the pace in the center of the corner. Dave. Kevin just radioed his crew. I blew some way up on the four car, but that's not as bad as Joey Logano, whose car was very, very loose and was way down on his track bar. And as you can tell, he didn't put up too much of a fight when Blaney passed him. So a little trouble at the front here, but they're still faster than everybody else. Eric lose that track position there, and he sounded pretty upset with Joey Logano. Yeah, he's already won a damn race. You'll be back to him in a minute. Just fix it. Cautions come out. Matthew in the wall in the back straightaway somehow. He's had some contact. Matthew Benedetto, a lot of damage to the front end of that car. It is folded up. Turn two. There's a little contact between Bubba Wallace and the 37 car, Busher, and 32 and Trix may have made some contact there to upset that 32 car. Matt gets in the inside wall. It'll be interesting to see if the crew has got any right front damage from that. Big run coming off of two, but diving into three still. Two car links separate these two. Carvin's so good one and two. It's, it's going to happen sooner or later. I don't think that Blaney can keep him back there. Some positive energy coming down the front straightaway with a little bit of gain on him. Watch him right here. That right there is where the speed is. Oh, there Blaney he goes. Here, the goes. here comes Harvick to the inside of Blaney. Right where you're 
Still there, still there, still there. He's got the preferred Clear. line as they dive into three, and Harvick leads at Texas again. That's so impressive, isn't it, Junior? It's so hard to make that happen. You're saying it, man. I'm telling you, I cannot believe how good that four car is through one and two, especially coming to drive up behind that car and be in that dirty air and continue to be able to get to it. Wow. Harvick's driving that car, but you got to give props to Rodney Childers and that team for giving him a car that can do this. Yeah. Right there, the 12 just, he just got on that apron a little bit. That's where he was stuck. Harvick took advantage of it. The caution will come out. Now a restart will have to be, well, conquered again by Kevin Harvick. We'll see what we're he's good. got in. We're good. Some tires. The 51 of Joey Gay spins. Now it's going to be a sprint. A lot of damage to the 19 of Daniel Suarez as well. And what does Kevin Harvick do? Does he pick the top? He's going to pick the top. That's 18 car, free pass. That's what I was getting ready to say, back. Jeff. Yep. Gives him opportunity to gain more positions. And you say that with confidence, Rick, that the Harvick's going to take the top. <laughs> well, you told me, you're the crew chief, and you told me that's the best way to go. Right on the, the 19 car here. This is a whole bunch of things happening right here. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 19 got in there. Right. Got in there a little deep. 47 got up into the 51. I wonder if there might have been something on the racetrack. All these guys having some trouble in that corner altogether. That would be really strange. Look at the big push by the 42 of Larson. Went up and hit the 12 car. Moved him in front of the four. Advantage Blaney. Here comes Harvick, pouring into turn one, and he clears him easily. Wow, that's huge. That wasn't even close. Kevin Harvick down the back stretch already. Four car lengths between himself and Blaney. Harvick went into turn one and just committed. What a restart by Kevin Harvick. Coming back by. White flag in the air, one more time around in Texas. Kevin Harvick, putting together one of the greatest seasons of his life, looking for his eighth win of 2018. And more importantly, a secured spot in the championship board for another chance at a championship. Harvick wins the Texas. Racing for these cars that we've had really for five years now. Just got to thank everybody from Mobile One and Ford, uh, everybody from uh, Bush Beer, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Jimmy John's, everybody who helps us on this thing, and really everybody at the shop has just been working day after day to try to make speed. And, and this place has been really good to me. I'm glad we got to win again here. We finally knocked that barrier down and went in front of all these fans in Texas. So thank you guys. Harvick, to have a year like this, to pick up win number eight and a shot at that championship, the relief must be huge to know that you can go to Homestead with a shot at it and you don't have to worry about trying to make it in next weekend. Well, the expectations are to win. Um, it's like I told you guys before the race, we don't race for points, we race for wins. Uh, we don't come here to count our fingers and, and toes to try to figure out how we're going to make it. We want to earn it. And, uh, today we, we earned our way in and we're going to go and race again next week and try to win another race and, and see what we can do at Homestead. Congratulations, buddy. We'll see you in victory lane. Thank you. Here's your winner, Kevin Harvick. Two races into the semifinal round of the playoffs. Martin's built a week ago. Logano locks himself in to the championship four. Now Texas. Kevin said, you know what? Come down here and check this car out. <laughs> right here is going, are you kidding me? So when he goes to school tomorrow, he is the man. Like, there is no way you got anything on this guy. And I think being a dad, Kevin Harvick realizes what kind of a moment that was for that young man. And there is 
the victor from today, 500 miles later, plus had to survive a overtime finish. And my friend, you've taken celebrating with the fans to a whole new level, grabbing a child out of the grandstands. That was cool. You know, it's always, um, people always give you grief for not stopping for everybody. You don't have time to stop for everybody, but I love stopping for the kids. Sorry to you adults for the most part, but yeah, that's, you know, that's something that hopefully that kid will remember for his whole life. And, you know, I, uh, sometimes you get reminders of what you mean sitting in this car to some people outside of the sport. And, and uh, so that moment is going to, you know, hopefully be with that kid forever.